guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's first impression because we're gonna break into this Models Own Lip Sealer. I showed you this in a recent haul. I picked up this product from Models Own. It's a new brand that they're carrying at Ulta and it's from the UK. This product above all stood out to me because of the claims that it can essentially lock your lip color in place. It claims to be waterproof. So I want to put that to the test today with a first impressions. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. All right, guys, here is the actual product. It looks like nail polish. Like it's really liquidy. I'm not sure if you can see that inside there, but really liquidy and in a container, just like nail polish, like brush and everything. I'm kind of skeptical, but let me just walk you through what I have going on on my lips right now, because essentially this is supposed to seal in your lip color. So I have gone ahead and applied a lip color. This is one of my best May minis and it's a mauve shade from 1969. That was the inspiration. So I went ahead and applied this. It's a really creamy formula. So I blotted the excess off on a tissue and this is what's left, still full color, but there's not like a lot of extra product on my lips. I thought that might be the best sort of foundation for applying this. The directions on the packaging literally just say apply over lip color. So I am going to do that now and we will see what happens. All right, you guys, here's what I can tell you for starters. That was a very liquidy product and it felt like alcohol going onto the lips, like kind of a cooling and tingling sensation. Like I was just putting rubbing alcohol all over my lips. It has a light fruity scent. So probably to detract from that whole alcohol <laughs> situation but I don't feel like it has changed the finish of my lip color at all. Like it's not a glossy finish. It didn't do any extra mattifying or anything like that. Like my lip color looks pretty much exactly the same as it did before I applied anything to it. I tried to be pretty generous with this and apply it all over my lips, making sure I hit the entire perimeter of the lip line, the inner part of the lips, everything. So I guess we'll see how this goes. As I'm talking to you now, it's changing just slightly. I'm trying not to let my lips really touch, um, but I'm, I'm essentially feeling the product on my lips less. Like, like the stinginess is going away. The, any kind of wet texture that was on there is going away. And honestly, it just feels like my lips now. So I'm really curious how this is gonna go. All right guys, I'm gonna check in with you later after I've had some lunch and make some phone calls and just kind of go about my day and I will let you know how this is holding up. I will not reapply any of the lip product or the lip sealer just so that you can see realistically what all of this looks like in a couple of hours. Okay, wait, I had to sit back down and double check a couple of things with you before I do any eating or anything like that. The claims of this are waterproof. So I have a couple questions about that. Question one is, does that also mean transfer proof? So let's go ahead and do a test on that right now. Haven't done anything to change it since I last chatted with you. It's literally minutes later. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a kiss test and see if it transfers onto my hand. Actually, I mean, a little bit around the edges where maybe I didn't get quite enough product, but other than that, no, which is pretty intriguing because this is a very creamy lipstick. Hmm. Okay, so now it claims waterproof. This makes me nervous. I have wet a tissue and I'm going to press that against my lips and then try the transfer test again. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so pressed against my lips and it, again, maybe around the very corners of my mouth pulled up a little bit of the product, but no, other than that, let's try it transfer wise. Okay, I got more transfer that time. So I feel like the water is doing something to the lip product. It can't be 100% waterproof if adding water to my lips causes more transfer, right? I don't know. 
I'm going to apply a little bit more product and see how that feels, see what it does, and then I'm going to go throughout my day and uh, let you know how it holds up. I also wanted to share with you the ingredients that are in this thing because you're probably curious what kind of magic could make something waterproof. Um, essentially, the answer is alcohol. So the ingredients are alcohol, butylene glycol, glycerin, ethyl cellulose, phenoxylethanol, aloe barbadensis leaf juice, flavor slash aroma, which is vague. Um, but that's it. That's all that's in it. Mainly and number one ingredient is alcohol and then butylene glycol. So I'm going to apply a little bit more. It was tingly the first time around. Let's see what happens now. Still tingly. I imagine this isn't like good for your lips. So second application still pretty tingly. It's basically just like a bit of an alcohol burning sort of feeling. It's not painful. Um, and again, I imagine it's not very like good for your lips, but I'm hoping it's not actively like bad for my lips. I know alcohol essentially as an ingredient can be very drying, so I try to avoid it altogether in anything that goes on my facial skin, which is pretty sensitive. Lips can be pretty sensitive too, but I think, you know, they're maybe a little bit tougher and there is a very creamy product underneath, hopefully protecting them. I don't know. I'm by no means claiming this is a healthy choice in your makeup regimen. Just very curious about the effectiveness of it. I feel like that second coat made more of a difference that I can actually feel on my lips. I feel like the, um, the lip product that's underneath is drier now. Um, probably my lips feel a little bit drier as well, but they don't actually feel uncomfortable. So maybe, and it doesn't say, it just says apply over lipstick, that is the directions, but maybe applying two coats is like a better idea to make the product more effective. You know, letting one coat dry and then going in with a second, totally not sure, but it feels like it's like doing something extra now. So again, I will check back in with you. I just wanted to make sure that I updated you on a couple of those claims, like it being waterproof, and also share the ingredients with you as well. But I'll be back a little bit later. All right, guys, I am back and it is not even an hour later. I have had lunch and honestly, before I ate lunch, the product was practically gone. What I noticed starting to happen about 20 minutes after I applied that second coat was excessive dryness and crumbling. So I started to feel like a crumbly kind of texture around the inner part of my lips. And so when my lips would like rub together or touch, little crumbles of the product would fall off. And I ended up just before I ate lunch, having like just a ring of color around the outer part of my lips, super not cute. And then I had some mac and cheese, totally healthy lunch. Um, but you know, not like a sandwich where I was putting my whole mouth on it, I was eating with a fork. And it definitely is all completely gone. So I honestly think that I'm gonna end up returning this. It's just not worth it. I don't wanna try it again. It dried out my lips, it stung when I put it on. And it wasn't a miracle. If it had lasted on its own for a while and through food for a while, maybe we would be, you know, having a different conversation, but we're not. And I don't think it's worth trying again for those reasons. It's just, I gave it the best possible chance of working and it didn't. So it's gonna go back to Ulta. If you've tried it, let me know. If you're curious about it, it is only eight bucks, so you know, give it a go. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my eight bucks back because this isn't something that I'm gonna be reaching for again. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell as well so that you can stay up to date. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will catch you next time. Bye.